So I just got a quick question about uh, my patient's missing two lower central incisors. Should I replace it with one implant or two implants? So let me draw it out and show you what I would do. So this is kind of an ugly simplified drawing, but I uh, hope it explains my point. So if you put an implant right here, an implant right here, you're probably using very narrow implants for these. You're using like a 3.0 or 3.2 or something. And if you try to put them side by side, what's gonna happen is this embrasure space right here, let me just draw out the tooth actually. So if you try to make them side by side, you're gonna get some really big black triangles right there. Um, I think trying to squeeze these guys in there will actually look kind of ugly. It'll limit your prosthetic um, possibilities here. So a better solution, I think, for mandibular central incisors is if you can do uh, one implant and restore one tooth on it and then attach a little cantilever, oops, restore, um, attach a little cantilever and you have more flexibility when you do that because you're not constrained by the dimensions imposed on you by this implant. So by getting rid of that implant, you are helping yourself uh, to, to not have that same big black triangle, right? Hopefully you can maintain a little bit more gingiva here. You're not cutting it up. You're not squeezing titanium in this space. You only have an implant in one spot and you're doing a cantilever bridge on it. I think that's a viable option. Uh, of course, I would want to make sure that I don't have excursive uh, or like, you know, excessive forces on this cantilever or even on this tooth for that matter. So I'd keep these guys out of occlusion actually and restore one implant with a, um, with a cantilever solution up here. That's a possibility and I, I kind of prefer this than trying to squeeze the two in there. Hope that helps.